Hey Money Movers, welcome back to Millennial Money Moves with Nadia. Before we get started, just wanted to let you guys know today we will be talking about um, kind of things you should know about the crypto market if you're about to start investing and common mistakes that people who are investing in cryptocurrencies often make. So before we get started, please give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because it really, really helps me out. Um, and stay tuned for more talk on crypto. Hey Nadia, what's up? We making money moves. Who making money moves? We making money moves. You making money moves? We making money moves. We making money moves. We making money. Welcome back, money movers. Like I just said, I will be talking about crypto. I have a couple notes today. I went out old school and wrote them on pen and paper because I was out earlier doing some research. I didn't have my laptop on me. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at a notebook, not my MacBook. Okay, so one of the biggest things, I kept seeing this joke on TikTok. It was like about all these people who are starting to talk about cryptocurrencies. And it's like, do you even know what a blockchain is? And that's something that I was like, you know, that's true. Um, I'll get into that later. Like, people who are talking about cryptos to invest in that don't really know what they're talking about. Um, but I wanted to explain what a blockchain is because I think that's a really, really important part of understanding what cryptocurrencies are. I've kind of talked about it before, but I'm going to try to do my best to simplify it without oversimplifying it. Okay. So a blockchain, it's, it's a database. So what happens is a transaction is entered and the transaction goes from peer to peer via computers and they're global. So these, these transactions, the peer to peer computers are everywhere around the world. And that's the thing I said to keep in mind about crypto, right? It's global. It's traded 24 seven. It's always happening somewhere, um, somehow, somewhere. So the network of all these computers solves the equation. This is that puzzle I was talking about. This is, this is how the blockchain for Bitcoin works. Let me preface it by saying that. So the network of computers kind of solves that equation and then they confirm that the transaction is valid. Once the transaction is confirmed to be valid, it's entered into a block. And then those blocks are clustered together or chained together. Then those blocks that are clustered together go into a chain, hence the term blockchain. So it's a transaction, peer to peer, network puzzle is solved it goes from the network to a block and it goes from a block to a blockchain and then the chain just keeps building the more this happens to think about all these transactions happening the more blockchains are being made and the, that peer-to-peer -peer computers those people who are solving that equation that's where you're getting your miners from I hope that that made sense. I know it's kind of a lot of techy sounding stuff, but it's important to have a general concept of where a blockchain comes from if you're investing in crypto. Because as you're doing your research, that's something you're going to want to read about and it's a term you're going to see come up a lot. But back to mistakes that people often make. This one I've talked about with the stock market before. Don't buy high and sell low. Um, a lot of people start getting in when they see the bull run, when they see, oh, Ethereum is up which it is up right now, the last time I checked actually, you know, crypto, super volatile up and down all the time. But it, when things go up, that's not when you want to be buying in. What happens is people look at the chart and they see, oh, well, it keeps going up, it keeps going up. Even if I catch it right here, it's still going up. Well, you don't know that. With cryptocurrencies, it might be going like this all day long, steady trajectory upward, and it could just drop the next day or later that day. That's the thing about cryptocurrencies. And then you would lose money if you bought up here thinking it was gonna go up, but really it just went back down. So please, please be careful and make sure you're buying on the dips. Look at the average price. See if it's below that. You at least wanna get it on an average price, not when it's going all the way up to the moon. Don't go chasing the bull market. And I know it sounds backwards from what we're used to. I'm literally telling you go on red and stop on green. But that's kind of the mentality you have to have. When you see the red, I want you to go. That's when you buy. And when you see green, that's when you think stop. That's when you can think about selling. That's not when we're trying to buy. So think opposite of what you're used to with that. And you don't want to just buy cryptocurrencies because it's cheap. Like, oh, this one's only a dollar, so I might as well just buy it. No, do your research. 
that's called the unit price. What you're seeing is the unit price. Like Cardano, uh, this isn't exactly what it is now, but let's say back before when it was like $1.15. So let's say you see a, a cryptocurrency price at $1.15. That's its unit price. What you want to pay attention to is the market cap. And the market cap, that's something I know you probably hear a lot when people are talking about cryptos, but what that is, is a unit price multiplied by the supply. So the unit price that $1.15 times the amount of coins there are in rotation. Because, I mean, if there's not a good market cap, this probably isn't going to go anywhere. Like safe moon compared to Bitcoin. Part of why Bitcoin is worth as much as it is, is because there's a really good market cap. And one thing I want to warn you about is that influencers, like I don't mean like me or Uncle Larry or Stockmo or Chris Sane, like people who talk about the stock market and the crypto market regularly. I mean like Dave Portnoy um, has been talking about, I think, Safe Moon, and I keep seeing a bunch of like Dave Portnoy's over um, Barstool Sports. A lot of people like that who are like, I don't know what it is. This isn't financial advice, but go buy it. This is the next Dogecoin it's that's not trustworthy a lot of people who don't know what they're talking about I don't know if influencers are getting paid to advertise these coins or what the deal is but really really be aware of that and you want to do your research don't just go out and buy something because someone told you to don't even go buy something because I I talked about it you have to do your own research because this is your money that you are investing none of us are financial advisors but there's definitely some of us who are more educated on the subject matter than others so definitely definitely be careful where you're getting your information from and also be careful because this whole altcoin thing it's very new i feel like the whole DeFi movement that started with blockchain and now we're seeing a lot of different coins like the shiba coin safe moon and some of them are just absolutely like ridiculous just kind of anyone is getting on there and um making cryptocurrencies and they're they're saying it's going to be the next dogecoin so i want to be um i just really want to tell you guys that you really need to be cautious with that and do your research watch and watch closely the thing with cryptocurrencies is they're so volatile. These altcoins, they can be up and down. If you guys have been keeping up with my channel and with the crypto market, you've probably seen the volatility, the up and down. So especially if you are day trading or swing trading, you need to watch super, super closely um, because you can miss out on money that you could have made. You can lose money. You just have to be watching it with this. And, you know, one way to combat that would be long-term investing. If you know, if you have like a trajectory date of you see a price prediction and that's about the time you want to pull out of it and do some um, profit taking, that's a good idea too because you don't have to be watching it kind of like 24, 24, you know what I mean? So definitely keep that in mind. And another thing I want to warn you guys about because of cryptos, people tend to trade it short term is not only the volatility, not only that you have to be watching it closely, but you need to be aware of your capital gains tax. When you hold stocks, and the same thing applies to cryptocurrencies, in the short term, you need to be aware of that capital gains tax that you'll be paying on it. Versus if you hold a stock for a long term, you'll pay a much lower capital gains tax. So think about those things when you're investing. Um, I'm not an accountant. That's just something that I want to remind you guys about. It applies here as well. A lot of these strategies like dollar cost averaging, swing trading, but mostly long term, um, buy low, sell high are the same kind of strategies that I use with the stock market. It's investing. It's making smart investments. It's optimizing what you're investing in. And one more little tip I want to add, like I've talked about with the stock market, is diversify. I've seen people just put all their money into Cardano, all their money into Ethereum, all their money into Ethereum Classic. Don't do that. It's the same thing where you should be diversifying your portfolio because you never know what's going to happen. I mean, Bitcoin has been up and down, Ethereum up and down. I mean, the market, the crypto market overall was down. So you can't just Pick one that you think is going to be a winner and only invest in that one. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but 
that's not something that I would ever do. I think it's super important to diversify your portfolio. Not saying you have to be equally balanced in all of the cryptos you're invested in with all the altcoins. If you think Ethereum is your winner, and that's one that I really like, um, you can still have a portfolio that's heavier on Ethereum than like Dogecoin, Cardano, Ethereum Classic, other ones such as that, but you definitely don't wanna be throwing all your eggs into one basket that's a good way to lose money, good way to get hurt, and that's what we don't want to do. Um, so I hope you guys kind of have a general understanding of what to do and what not to do when investing in crypto. I, I just felt like I should, since I had been talking about crypto investments, I thought I should give an overall uh, video on strategies for investing in the crypto market. Dollar cost averaging works here, buying on the dips works here, things like that, those same strategies. Keep that same mindset of how you would strategically invest in the stock market and just bring it right on over to crypto. I will be doing um, some more updates about the stock market as well, but I just wanted to hop on here really quick and give you guys that crypto update. So again, um, if you don't have the Coinbase app, please download it. It's where I use all of my, where I keep all of my cryptos. Um, it's super user friendly. I'm not just saying this because I'm like, oh, check out my link in the description box below. No, this is where I have always kept my cryptocurrency. Um, with the exception of Dogecoin, I had it on Robinhood a while ago, got out of Robinhood, and then I had Dogecoin on Weeble. But the rest of my cryptocurrencies, my whole crypto portfolio is on Coinbase. I think it's a super user-friendly app. You don't have to wait, um, put money in your buying power. That's one thing that's different from the stock market. With crypto, on Coinbase, you can just purchase immediately. You don't need the money from your buying power. It just goes from your bank. It just withdraws the money from your bank, and right away, you'll be able to make purchases. There are some small fees, but I love uh, Coinbase. So again, check out the link in my description box below. And remember, we're making money moves. Have a good day. Bye. Weeble, enjoy hours of pre and post market trading. Stocks and cryptocurrencies all in one app. Finally, a phone friendly, easy to use trading app that helps you become a better trader. Soon you'll be trading like a pro. Weeble, the future of trading. Click the link below in the description. Deposit $100 and get two free stocks worth up to $1,850.